Probably still going to do a lot of washi taping this week. Hi, everybody. Today I'm going to be playing out the week of July 9th. 2018 in my horizontal neutral Erin Condren planner. It's my second week back in a horizontal after like a year and a half, two years out of a horizontal. Last week, I loved how it looked. I loved it. I actually was super productive between using this, the work planner I'm using, and my bullet journal, but I'm still figuring my system out. So I'm going to keep feeling, feeling. I'm just going to keep saying feeling like I'm massaging your gonads. I want to feel out this system before I settle on something. So I'm not gonna, this could just be beginner's luck. I don't know. So we're going to keep trying. I got a lot of appointments this week. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to just get started. These are the washi tapes because that's how I live my life is with washi tape that I'm going to use this week. These are both from Simply Gilded. I think they came in the same box, but I'm not sure. This is like a paper crane looking situation, like origami. And this is flower. They both have rose gold foil and kind of pinkish. And then this little pink guy came from Night Owl Washi, and I'm going to use those over the whole situation. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cover the top, but I'm not going to do what I did before and do two layers of washi. I'm just going to do one. And I have an experiment that I'm going to run because I want to cover these flags up. But the stickers that I currently have are sized for the hourly, which has a different size flag than the horizontal. Now, I have some new ones that are the right size on order, but I'm going to experiment and I'm going to see, I'm going to see if I can make this work. So here's my planner science. I am going to take my Oso oh Scientific Whiteout, which is actually from Daiso, I'm pretty sure, like, so it's cheap white out and I'm going to white out the bottom of the flag. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I'm not whiting out the entire thing and you're going to see why because I don't know how sticky things are going to stick to this white out. And this may seem like a lot of effort but if you think it's a lot of effort you haven't watched my channel very long because I will go to lengths to cover up colors in a planner that I don't want, which is why I tried not to get planners with too many colors because it's a lot more work. Anyway, I'm gonna take this flowery washi and run it along the top. And so as you see, it's covering up the bottom of the flag, but the whiteout keeps it from looking like there's a flag hiding underneath. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap one of these little pink horizontal, or the flags that are sized for the hourly so they're not long enough to cover up the whole flag. But because I covered it up, some of it up with the, you, you, look what I'm doing. You, I can't explain this, but you can see what it is. Okay, it's not perfect, but for the most part, it looks good. <laughs> I can't wait till I get those other flags. This is way, way more of a pain in the ass than I want it to be. <laughs> That'll do. If you wonder why I'm covering the 2018 up, I just wanted to have more room for the washi tape. <laughs> that is the top, and I think that that came out pretty. Now, actually, one of my subscribers, Jen, suggested that I put my blood pressure here because I had all that extra space because all I was doing was weather and dinner plans. And I thought, well, let's give that a try because the tracker that I have in the bullet journal right now for my blood pressure sucks ass. So I'm going to use this little skinny washi and divide things up. I will also add I am fully aware that this takes for fucking ever, but I like how it looks. Sometimes I'm just willing to put in a little bit of extra time for it to look awesome. Full disclosure. And then I also want to run washi down the side here because I like to separate off underneath to represent like the top items I have for the day. That's what I did last week and I'm just going to stick with that, sort of. Okay, that's pretty. And then the last thing I'm going to washi on this side before I move to the other side, I'm going to take some of this crane washi and I'm going to run it down this side because for these two days, my kids normally would be with me, but they're going to their dads for a couple of days. We're making a change in the custody schedule and I wanna mark that so I don't forget. 
And last week I had a difficult time marking across this way for camp. So I figured I'll try that this week and see if I like it. I don't really like that it slightly covers this up, but I don't want to use a skinnier washi because this stands out more. Using this little sticker from Chrissy Ann Designs to mark it. Okay, and I think that will basically be most of the washi for this side of the week. And so I'm going to repeat these things on this side. amazed at how straight I'm keeping this. Hope I didn't just jinx myself. Now one of the things that I really liked about the hourly was being able to kind of block off amounts of time to spend on something and then I used the bullet journal to list what was going to go there. So when I started switching over to the horizontal part of me was like well is this gonna work the same way I don't really have the same kind of look and last time I used the horizontal I wasn't very organized I actually I loved it for the creative aspect but holy shit did it not feel very put together so part of me wondered was this just gonna be an exercise in futility but the last time I used a horizontal I wasn't bullet journaling and since I've moved so many of my lists and like to do's and all those things into the bullet journal and used the planner more for like time blocking in my sort of half-assed way and creativity because I love the creative space that the horizontal gives me if I could just grasp how I can like block time out in a way that makes sense then maybe I could make the two work and what I am landing on for right now at least is that I am using size I think is what I'm doing. So like I'm lettering shit, but whatever I letter the biggest in any particular day is the focus for the day and I need to spend the most time on that. So instead of putting like a linear amount of time, it's more conceptual. Like last week I put work super big and then a couple of small things, meaning that the bulk of my time needs to be spent working, if that makes sense, with still some room for the timed appointments on the one side. So that's what I'm, that's kind of what I'm going with. And it worked last week, so I'm curious to see if I can make it work again. <laughs> Okay, it's not perfectly straight, but it'll do. Now I'm gonna take a few minutes and I have weather that I need to put in and meal plans up through Thursday because I meal plan on a Friday through Thursday schedule because that's when my custody runs. And I usually put my meal, my weather in. I usually put, bleh, I can't even fucking talk today. I usually put my weather in through Thursdays as well because that way around Wednesday or Thursday, I can put in the rest of the week. It's a little bit more accurate that way. And I just like to know, like, do we need a sweatshirt that day? Is it going to be balls hot? The pen I'm using this week is the Tombow uh, 03 mono drawing pen, just because I was using this in a different planner in my, my social media situation. And I forgot how much I liked this pen. The center section is going to be for blood pressure. We're going to start with today, which is the start of the Wild 30, and I'm doing a lettering class, so I have a live stream in there at 5 p.m. I also need to post the download for my patrons today as well. So those are the two things I'm going to mark in my top priority right here. And for the live, I'm going to use this little Once More With Love filming munchkin. And I have a little computer icon from Chrissy Ann Designs for the download for my patrons already fucking fucked up and I think I'm gonna try and white out though this might be a mistake I fucking screwed up my freaking white out now I only want to spend about half of today working and the other half hanging out with my kids so I want to reflect that and kind of how I am drawing things out here I don't know what I'm gonna do with the kids today but we need to do something Okay, and so for that's for work, then the rest of it is going to be for hanging out with the kids. I don't know how I'm going to do that. How? I have a couple of these little heart stickers. They came on this sheet of Amy Tangerine lettered stickers that she did with Kristen of Chrissy and Designs for the Planners Rock conference that we did back in February. 
I'm going to use these little hearts. I'll just leave it at that for right now instead of messing with it. So going to Tuesday, I already marked in that the kids are going to their dad's for a couple of days. I have to remember to send a check with them and my husband has a doctor's appointment. I have a couple of icons from Chrissy and Design, this asterisk for the check and a little clock for my husband's doctor's appointment. Now I'm not gonna write much in for Tuesday except that I want to go to the movies with my husband and go out to dinner. So I'm gonna use this little let's go to dinner munchkin sticker and also write down the time of the movie that I think we're gonna try to go to. We're gonna go see the purge, the first purge, I think. And we'll probably have dinner somewhere as well, but I, we don't know yet, but the kids will be at their dad's and so it'll be a nice chance for my husband and I to connect. On Wednesday, my kid has a music lesson. So as per usual, as you can see, I just destroy these little munchkin sheets of music. And I have a live in the Wild 30 group as well. I'm gonna leave Wednesday blank for now because I haven't figured out what else I'm doing that day yet. Except that I know the kids are getting back that evening, so maybe I'll mark that off in the corner. I don't know what time yet he's bringing them back. I'll write that in as soon as he lets me know. On Thursday, my cat has a vet appointment and I have the first draft. Not the, I, I need to work on the first draft of a guest post I'm doing for a blog, so those two things need to get marked on the Thursday place. I thought I had a little kitty sticker that would work, but I couldn't find one, so I'm just gonna use this little arrow. <laughs> and then moving to Friday, I have a live for the Wild 30 and a live that I need to schedule. I have to put a time in. I haven't got that time quite figured out yet. It depends on when my kids are going back to their dad's house to do go live with my patrons. I'm gonna use this wine and plan sticker from Chrissy and Designs for the patron one. Not because I'm gonna be planning my week, but because I'm gonna actually be talking about upcoming plans with my patrons. It makes sense in my head. And then Saturday, oh, this is crooked. I don't think that helped. Saturday, I have another live. Lives for days. And I'm gonna put on a little car so to remind us after I'm done with that live that we're gonna go to the farmer's market because I like doing that on Saturday mornings. I'm not gonna completely mark up Saturday yet, but I am gonna mark in the corner that I do need to wash sheets. Now Sunday, I have a metric shit ton of stuff going on. I have to be at church in the morning because I am, t I am substituting. During the summertime, our religious education teachers go on vacation and we combine the classes and I volunteered to lead the class this week. I think, I don't remember what I'm gonna be doing. I guess I should figure that out. And then my husband has a gig that I'm not gonna actually be able to go to because I will be busy as you're about to see. But his gig is at 1 p.m. at this brewery, which I'm kind of sad to miss it because it's an, a good gig to go to. But he's got like 800 of them this month, so I'll see him plenty of times. So then on Sunday, I have a patron hangout at 1.30 where we pregame. And then at 2.30, my live plan with me will be happening here on this channel, 2.30 Pacific time, this coming up Sunday. Leaving that little spot because I might be able to fit something else in on Sunday, but I probably won't, but you never know. And so that is the actual week. Now, what I did last week was I used the note space for journaling because I don't really need to make a big to-do list here because I put it in my bullet journal. I think I'm going to do the same thing. So even though I'm, it says notes and I have this sticker that says notes with my lettering on it from Chrissy and Designs, I'm just going to cover it up to make it match. sweet and that's where I'll journal for the week so this is my week I'm liking how it's looking it's looking very similar to this week 
but in a way that I think is going to work. If you want to see how this progresses, you can check it out at Llama Letters on Instagram. If I get my system down over the next month or two, I will likely do another plan as you go using this with my bullet journal. And if you want to see how my week with this experiment with my bullet journal went, that video will be coming up later this week. I'm really excited to go see The First Purge. It's on my list of movies that I really want to see coming up soon. What movie are you looking forward to that's coming out sometime this year? I'm going to make a spread in my bullet journal about the movies that I want to see, but The First Purge is up there on the list. So let me know what movies you're looking forward to coming up soon in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.